So if we take a look at the task's description here, and after having read it, which is part of the understanding the problem step, after having read it, we see that we understand all the words. Um, and if we can restate it in our own words, and I think we can do that, we are asked to, to read the name of the user, and then we're going to compare that to, to the order of the script's name. And if they're the same, we are going to print one message. If they're not, we're going to print something else. So let's see if we can mark that in the text here, uh, what we're supposed to do. Let's get, ask the user to input his or her name. OK, that's the first thing. And I think I'm going to change color here. If the given name is the same as the author's, display the message, uh, I see a future programmer. Other way, otherwise, this is a nice name, should be uh, displayed. So we're going to ask the user to input something. And we're going to compare that to an uh, already given name in the script. If it's the same, we're going to print, I see a future programmer. If it is something else, we are going to print, that is a nice name. And now let's try to devise a plan with a flowchart. Let's see if we can come up with something that we think will solve this problem. Uh, as always, I like to have the start and the end available for the first thing I do. And let's see. Um, what is the first thing we need to do? It says here that we're going to compare it to the author, author's name. So I think the first thing I'm going to add here in my plan is to declare the author's name. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So we have that available so that we later can compare it. After that, I'm going to ask the user um, to input his name. Input user, user's name. Input the user's name. So we have these two steps. Let's, we can start with adding arrows between them, maybe. And what is the next thing we need to do? Now we have the author of the script's name and we have the input, uh, which is the user's name, the one who's running the script. Now we have to compare them. Right, that's the next step. We're going to compare them with an if statement. And what are we doing? Uh, we are comparing the username to the author name. Or so we can say, is the username equal to the author name? I'm just going to make this a bit bigger here. So let's see if we can maybe get it a bit inside. There we go. Um, and depending on if the username is equal to the author name, we can do two things. We are going to display two different messages. So I'm going to add those in here. There. Um, and if we add the arrows and the text, we can add this one first. So if it is uh, true, or if it is false. Depending on if this comparison here is true or false, we're going to go to these two here. And if it is true, we're going to display I see a future programmer. And 
if it is not false, we had another message that we should show. That is a nice name. So. If we zoom out a little bit and we need to say where to go after we have displayed this message, so then we go back here. We start our script. We declare the author's name as a variable inside the script. After that, we read the user's name, the one who is currently running the script. Then we compare those two names. If they are the same, we go down this route and display, I see a future programmer. And then we end the script. If when we compare them, they are not the same, we instead display, that is a nice name. And then we end the script. And if we compare to the text, I think we have managed to include everything in the text in our flow chart here. So next, uh, carrying out the plan and looking back, we do in the implementation video.